Yowie. Is it gonna be Yowie Wowie? What's up, Van Black? What's up? What's your tag? Shiloh. Oh, yeah, I think I've, yeah. I've heard of you. <laughs> You're, I don't know. I just I just remember, like, uh, someone mentioning you. Tempo? Yeah, Tempo. Man, t Tempo Tempo needs to come back to this game. Yeah, yeah I think he, um, I, I played Wi-Fi with him once while he was on his break. Yeah, I played um, Wi-Fi, like, he a few days ago. He definitely doesn't enjoy... Greninja anymore. He, uh, uh, he 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 likes Ken a lot. Yeah, his Greninja was pretty good though. Yeah. So I'm kind of sad he dropped him. Like it felt like he actually kind of clicked with Greninja, but mm -hmm. he uh he he definitely doesn't like the game as much as he like uh, used to. Yeah. He still uh kind of gives me a hard time though in this game when he does actually play. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but he's like... Which is my friend knows you. I think he might be sub to you. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember. So we've got a uh, stretch against... Let me see who it is. Atomisk. Oh, Atomisk. What? Let me see what round... Probably like... Maybe winner's round four? Probably I like to get sure. into top 32, I'm assuming. Or it might be top 32 already. Yeah, it's to get into top 16. I oh, know it is top 16. Yeah, yeah. No, they made it so that it's top 32 now, but it still says top, oh, 16. top 16. I don't know why, but. Which is his tag is uh, Bevo. Oh my god. Yeah. Bevo. All right. Yeah. So yeah, this is winners' quarters, actually. Oh, so this is for uh, top eight. Yeah. All right. So um, I definitely think this matchup is very hard for DDD because yeah. Lucina just has a bunch of very fast aerials, and that can um, make Gordo very hard to throw out in this matchup. Yeah, and uh, DDD is a very big body who is a fast faller, yeah. so he gets comboed very easily. Oh, that almost worked. If you've got a disjoint, basically, you're going to do well against DDD. Yeah, it, or if you have projectiles. Like, anything that can toss back Gordo makes it very hard for him to approach and uh, play his whole gimmick. Oh, oh, that was almost a hard read. He He's definitely uh, keeping a good percent lead right here. He's struggling to find the kill, but it's a given because he's uh, playing against a heavy. Oh no, he good. was so close to getting that, good. but Stretch that had a actually, really smart. Uh, yeah, that was actually very good. Knowledge. And this is, the, this is the benefit of uh, playing DDD. Playing a you super get to heavy survive general. to yeah. these percents. Oh, whiffed grab from Stretch, but no punish from Adamus. I'm kind of surprised he didn't go for a confirm off the Nair, but I, yeah. I like the read on the air dodge right there. Oh, yes, he stretches just. He's got that sword. He can just Ooh, get up attacker right fair there. from the ledge for free. Yeah. And uh, the Gordo. Uh, Adamus has just got to eat that. Oh, and even Very the counter. That was counter. really. That was a good mix up. That's a punish. Yeah. You can't uh, be using a move like that on shield ever. It's only very like uh, a hard read option. You yeah. have to like roll back. Oh, oh that was smart. That was uh, right there. that was a little bit of a bait from Adamus. It looked like yeah. he just kind of walked in place for a little bit. Bam! Up to just like come to me. Oh Ooh, no! The that's shield the break. Yeah, that that's definitely gonna be the stock. Yeah, we see Stretch here with a big lead. It's definitely doable for DDD if he just plays a perfect stock right now. Yeah. Um, DDD also has a really good kill power, so I can uh, definitely see Adamus maybe going for a hard read and uh, definitely clearing out the stock. And he he has the momentum right now in the stock. Yeah, he's Adamus just has to keep this up. Yeah. But Stretch is playing so smart right now. He's definitely not making it easy for Adamus. Yeah, of course. It's a uh, it, this matchup is very hard, and Stretch is just a very good player. So um, I definitely think it's it's doable for Adamisk, 
but it's, it's going to be extremely hard. Oh, the dash back from Stretch. Oh man, that that was a spike. If that was any other character, but he well, he wanted the shield break that. again. Um, I I think if uh, Animus got hit by that, he would have died straight up. Yeah. Back air though. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna kill take him. it. And now Stretch about to take out a PR player. Yeah, it's gonna be a PR win for him. And uh, does uh, does uh, Staten Island have a PR? Because I pretty don't sure think that's so, but Stretch I think they're mixed from. in together. Because I, I think they're mixed in with NY. Yeah. And uh, Long Island. I just know uh, like the the Staten Island carpool. Comes here all the time. Yeah. Stretch, uh, Bo, Bo Zamba, Zamba, yeah, uh, Thanos car occasionally. I think Thanos car might be moving from Staten Island. Oh really? Yeah. All right. Already, Stretch starting off uh, getting uh, Adamus got the ledge. Yeah. But now we got a reversal situation. DDD is so scary at the ledge because he's able to just oppress you with that Gordo. He's then at that upwards angle, so you're afraid to do any option other than uh, get up attack. Yeah. Or, or like, people want to roll, but most DDDs uh, cover that option. Okay, Adamus can now uh, keeping it pretty even. Yeah. Definitely a change from uh, how first stock of the last game went. Oh, good coverage on the landing. Yeah, uh, I don't know what changes that Adam uh, Adamus really made, but um, I think that he d definitely is going to be able to hold this lead. I think he's uh, playing slightly more aggressively this time around. Yeah, he's playing slightly more aggressive and not going for as much Gordo. Uh, that down is really unfortunate. No, uh, the armor didn't come through right there. Yeah. Oh, that pressure. Yeah. R able to roll right through it, though. Oh, Stretch went for like an immediate uh, get up attack or something, and uh, Adamus was able to cover it. Yeah. Oh, going for the grab. It's such a laggy grab. Most lags, or most grabs are very laggy in this game. Yeah, and a uh, lot of them don't have a lot of range either, so yeah. it's much more of a uh, like high risk, high reward option in yeah. this game than Smash 4. In Smash 4, it was pretty uh, low risk, uh, high reward. Yeah, because you get an instant combo out of it. Uh, the game was very much uh, oriented around ga grabs. Yeah. Ooh, catching the roll in there. Oh, th he was just off. Uh, Gets uh, hit by the anti there right there. Oh, no. Ooh, I, th that I feel looks like, like some uh, sus DI. Yeah, either uh, Adamus uh, just had some sus DI or he pressed a button with yeah. the last zone or both. So we see Stretch is trying to wall him out with safer aerials. But Animus is like, I'm not having that, I'm just gonna grab you. Yeah. Oh, good reaction to the roll Whoa. with the Oh, he almost had a, another roll read right there. He, uh, he definitely wanted it. He uh, went for that dash back dancing blade. Oh, that, uh, that dash attack was a little risky. I forgot that that side tilt goes uh, below the ledge. Oh, yeah. Now, Adamus has just been keeping Stretch at the corner for a solid yeah. like, 20 seconds. That's what DDD really does best. At the ledge, he's definitely the scariest he will ever be. Yeah. Oh, up That's tilt. Be that move has two. taken at least three stocks this set. Yeah. It's very strong. It's Stronger very than strong. I it's uh, expected. one of his faster kill options. Um, as you said, I think we saw the uh, adaptation from Adamus right there. He definitely started to play more aggressive, and he didn't rely on Gordo as much, and, yeah. uh, unless uh, Stretch was at the ledge. So now I'm wondering what we're going to see from Stretch. What's he going to change? Because I don't really yeah. see what specifically he's doing wrong. I, I can't really tell what Stretch is doing wrong. It's just that Adam Misk has not been uh, giving him a chance to yeah, I don't get think back on stage. Adam Misk definitely improved his ledge trapping from, from the last game. Um, in the last game, we saw that Stretch was kind of getting back for free. Like, you saw he was, even did that counter. Yeah. Uh, so, I feel like if Stretch just, like, remembers uh, 
how he can mix up his uh, ledge play. Yeah. Or like recoveries instead of like panicking. Let's see. We're going to Smashville. I feel like uh, both players kind of benefit from the stage in a way. Yeah, it's this small, is, uh, easy it's small. for Lucina to traverse through. Lucina can shark that platform, but yeah. also uh, gives you less room to run from the Gordos. Uh -huh. And the, the Gordo bouncing, it can kind of cover that platform too. So. Yeah, especially if he does a high angled Gordo, or uh, I think it's just regular price Gordo. It, it bounces very high still. Yeah. Like, I know it reaches the battlefield platform. And here we are again, the lead trap situation. Gonna nair right through it though. Yeah, I think um, Adam should stop going for that dash attack. It's a very laggy move. I can see it being like an early kill option. But it's, uh, it's more of a call-out move than like, oh, I could just throw this out in neutral. I can throw yeah. it out in the lead trap. Animus really just wants to close this stock out as soon as possible. Yeah. You gotta let it come to you. Oh, oh. Gordo went to... <laughs> Gordo until, the if first he got hit the full hit, to... that would have been the stock. There we go. So, um, Animus able to take that stock out not too early. At like 150 for Lucina, it's a... Uh, it's not bad, but he's uh, definitely working harder than he should, I think. Oh, the Gordo. Oh. To, yeah, I like to kind of cover stage. himself. Animus is just like weaving around uh, Stretch's aerials and managing yeah. to make it back. He's, uh, he's definitely mixing up his movement options around Stretch, and that's very good because he just doesn't want to get hit by any of uh, Lucina's very fast aerials. I feel like Adamus was trying to go for a hard read on a roll because he uh, f smashed backwards. Yeah. But uh, I feel like that might have been a little too far to catch it anyway. Stretch is uh, definitely thinking on um, how he could take this dog out. Uh, Lucina's up his frame one, so I uh, like using it a lot when I play Mars. Yeah. Any any out of shield option like. Just if you if it's faster than like frame six, just abuse just it. Just abuse it, yeah. Like Link's got uh the uh up B, like the spin attack. Yeah. CSS has like jab. Oh, that's a bad SD. Oh no. Um I don't know what happened there. I think that's really gonna get to stretch his head. Um, I mean right now he's uh he's not doing got bad. a lot of momentum. Yeah. I, I I definitely think it's gonna get to his head though. If he if he loses set uh, like that, it's definitely gonna be uh, yeah, that's not gonna be tough. Very good for his head, for his mental. Oh, called out the jump so hard. That was a very hard call out. And this might be it. Oh, oh not yet. I think he should have just went for the forwarder right there, but yeah. he wanted the he wanted the style. Oh, he upbeat right yeah. into it. He he, he definitely wanted to it. snap the ledge. Yeah, but uh, he did it a little too early. So, Stretch is looking for a big opening so he can just like basically touch of death DDD or get a lot of percent. Um, Animus is Animus holding is just the not stage very well. Yeah. Oh, Gordo. Oh. Yeah, and the raw is Gordo is uh, enough to kill. I, uh, I definitely think that SD played a big, big uh, role in 